so students in this module we'll talk about what javascript can do and what javascript can do can and cannot and some very very brief words about tips on using javascript so let's see what it can do before we go into can do and can do let's have an overview of this module what javascript can do it cannot be forced on the client cannot ensure the data security cannot cross domains and so on so we'll go over the details as we move in the module so let's see first what javascript can do javascript is a complementary language complementary language means that it is a supporting language it is not a major language in the sense that you cannot they develop entire application systems complex systems using javascript javascript supports what you are doing it complements it but it is not something entirely on its own on which you can build mega systems in ajax java is the j so that is how much uh, popularity or the projection okay uh, which java is getting other than that javascript is an everyday language it's not like java not like c sharp okay of course uh, java tasks can be uh, done at the client side using javascript such as adding interactivity like flash what kind of interactivity like having drop down menus and of course javascript can be used for transforming the text at the client side okay uh, adding uh, font colors as per the liking of the client and so on and the validation also validation means that whatever is supposed to be entered in a certain field that is validated for example if email has to be entered in a field then it is checked that it is indeed email it is not the date of birth or something else and so on so these are the things uh, which javascript can do but what are the things the javascript cannot do the javascript is limited by the client's browser preferences it means that whatever uh, if if that it is preference of the client whether or not even to allow the javascript to run at the client end okay or maybe the client is using a browser that maybe does not supports javascript it's an old browser okay in the old browser okay or the client has the disabled so it is a choice of the client what can happen at the client end vis-a-vis -vis javascript it is unlike java or it is unlike uh, the standard programming languages standard in the sense that you can develop entire complex systems with them which are not the complementary languages it is not platform independent okay it is dependent upon the browser in which it is running that we discussed before also and of course you cannot guarantee how it's going to behave in one browser as compared to another browser it is unlike iis internet information server or apache that you develop an application for them and you are guaranteed and you know that how the application is going to work and if the application fails for example in a certain environment on iis or apache you know that it is not going to work in a similar environment elsewhere but that is not the case for javascript so you cannot guarantee the working of javascript elsewhere unlike java or uh, other standard languages so this is one thing which java cannot do so if you try to understand that the developer has to test the javascript in different browser domains different as browsers and even then there's no guarantee that it is going to work the same way at other client can't ensure data security okay client is in control right it would be rather innocent or naive to believe that the data which is sent over from the client is the same okay because maybe the client has disabled javascript and has entered garbage and then submit the data so client can disable client is in control cannot trust the data which is sent by the client 
you understand this and therefore you need validation at the server end because the client might be sending malicious data okay which will corrupt the server can't cross domains no access to other internet domains or affect them so if i am running my page at mydomain.com cannot access javascript at say microsoft.com or other domain.com this is a big limitation explorer 8 allows some access to data but that is for explorer 8 that is limited access it is not something which is standard in javascript doesn't do servers right javascript can can talk to server or access databases right like the applications which we are developing and discussing as part of this course javascript cannot do all those things cannot access the database cannot go to the server and make requests and you need to test javascript on different platforms okay if the code does not work on server you know immediately it's not going to work at others through other people or the clients who access the server but that is not the case for javascript that is not the case for javascript some of the tips of using javascript uh, follow the standards use appropriate technologies at the appropriate time do the right thing at the right time so that's all i have for this module thank you for your time